reaction to the videos what nowadays I have been taking up related to pregnancy. In succession to those videos, this is a very common quest, uh, questions that why does itching occur to some pregnant women during their late trimesters or in their last trimesters. So actually, today's topic of the discussion is about one of the very important dermatological condition what is mostly seen during pregnancy in some women who are experiencing their pregnancy for the first time. So today's topic starting with it is the pup rash. So the word pup itself is referring to this is pruritic urticle papules and plaques of pregnancy. So this is the short term for this. So it is actually the pruritic urticle papules what are seen during pregnancy and later on these pruritic papules they are going to uh, develop into plaque like structures and these plaque like structures they are seen in some expecting women and the incidence of such a uh, pup rashes it is mostly seen that it out of 160 pregnancies pregnant women one will be having such a condition so what is this pup rash so actually it is an extreme itching condition and extreme irritating condition which is a hive like condition and it is the most common dermatological condition what is mostly seen in pregnant patients what time it is mostly seen during their third trimester that is at the gestational age of 35 weeks and to in some it can also be seen in the postpartum period so this becomes a great matter of concern that there is so much of intense itching that sometimes it inter it interferes with the pregnant lady's daily activities apart from this she is unable to get proper sleep just because of the intense itching what is happening and this intense itching is making her all the more more uncomfortable so ultimately so these women are mostly worried that whether this kind of an itching is either harmful to their baby or not so this I would like to emphasize that this pup rash what is seen during the third trimester so it is absolutely not going to harm to you as well as your baby in any way and apart from this this is a very important self-limiting condition so self-limiting conditions are those conditions in medical terminology which are getting themselves cured by themselves so actually self-limiting conditions are those conditions which do not require any as such treatment and within a period of certain time span they heal they clear up by themselves so this pup rashes what are seen in pregnancy it is a self-limiting condition and once your baby is born or if it occurs after in the postpartum period so within a period of few days it will resolve by itself it requires as such no particular treatment now uh, understanding what does is what is the meaning of the word pruritic so pruritic word actually refers to an intense itchy condition or a hive like condition what develops so urticle rashes are those rashes what are uh, urticle papules so papule it is an erythematous raised lesion raised and swollen lesion which occurs in the which appears in the lower abdomen mostly it is also seen in certain women who are uh, bearing those stretch marks so once if it is your first pregnancy and obviously the skin is going to stretch of that lower abdomen so ultimately this is going to cause this pup rashes they are mostly seen in these tri what are developed due to the stretch marks so slowly and gradually it is seen that these pruritic lesions these pruritic papules they also coalesce means they all join to each other forming a plaque like structure so that's why they have been also called as these pruritic papules they later on they coalesce to form plaque like structures now when looking at that how the lesion is presenting so the lesion presents itself in the form of an erythematous which is having a red surface with raised bumps raised and swollen bumps and mostly it is seen with a halo in fair skinned women and usually it begins in the abdominal region and slowly it spreads out to the extremities that is in the arms and legs now what there are certain areas what of the body where this pup rash 
is spared. So actually this pup rash is not found in the periumbilical region as well as it spares the soles of the hands and feet and the face as well. So there is a, what there are certain women who are at a greater risk of developing this pup rash. So during pregnancy, it has been mostly seen that the pregnant lady is going to gain weight. At least there is an increase of 10 to 15 kgs of weight during pregnancy. So rapid excessive weight gain of a pregnant woman who is having her first pregnancy. So this such a woman is at a greater risk of developing this pup rash. Apart from this, it has been seen that certain women who are having the multiple gestation pregnancy, such as they are bearing twins and triplets. So in such situations, this is also again a risk factor which can predispose them to pup rashes. Apart from this, it is assumed that a woman's first pregnancy is basically in this first pregnancy only, this pup rash is going to occur. And while in the upcoming pregnancies, uh, such a woman won't experience any kind of a pup rash. So what we're looking at the cause that why, why this uh, pup rashes appearing or developing. So mostly it is seen the exact etiology has not been understood up till now, but it is assumed that the rapid stretching of the skin causes an inflammatory reaction due to the damaged connective tissue and the cells what are present in just because of the rapid stretching, they cannot make up for it. So ultimately this leads to the damaging of the cells and as well as the connective tissue and ultimately evoking an inflammatory response. So this evokes an inflammatory response what is ultimately going to cause this kind of a rash. So this was all about the etiology of it. So actually uh, there are certain women who their the pup the chances of having a pup rash increases. So actually it is the fair skinned women who are more predisposed to having we can developing a pup rash. Apart from this, the women who are exp expecting a male child, so they have also a greater chance of having developing a pup rash. Apart from this, there can also be if it, the women is as having twins or triplets, so they are also more predisposed. They might develop this pup rash. So actually, the problems what the expecting ladies feel it is that it, it, there is intense itching in their abdominal area, and sometimes this itching is so severe that they find it very difficult to do their household chores, their daily chores they cannot fulfill. Apart from this, they also find very difficult to sleep. So their sleep is also disturbed. And this has also been seen that there is just the, there is a change in the hormonal level in the blood during pregnancy. So these hormones can also be attributed to causation of this pup rash. So when the doctor, when these such women are going to, uh, visit their doctor. So doctors are going for a certain uh, diagnosis to rule out that is it whether it is not caused due to any kind of a liver uh, disease which is called as the hepatic cholestasis because the hepatic cholestasis is also related to severe intense itching in the entire body parts. So doctor is going to rule out whether it might not be a case of hepatic cholestasis. So he's going to ask you to perform the liver function test, the CBC, the cortisol, serum cortisol, as well as the serum uh, HCG, that is the human chorionic gonadotropin hormone. So these lab investigations the doctor will conduct and to see that what are the levels of these uh, hormones in the blood. Apart from this, if the, it's in itching is so intense so once if the itching is so intense the doctors can even prescribe you oral tablets of certain antihistaminics apart from they can also give you certain corticosteroid corticosteroid um, uh, ointments they can prescribe and this corticosteroid ointments are ultimately and moisturizers this will help in relieving the symptoms what are caused due to itching so there are certain home remedies which also can be taken by the expecting mother that such women are supposed to take a cold bath or a cold shower apart from this they can also give cold compressions on the raised bumps what are averted on their abdomen and uh, they are supposed to wear light and comfortable loose clothes during pregnancy because such uh, the tight clothing is also responsible for giving them those bumps, uh, rashes. Apart from this, they can have an oatmeal bath 
and actually they uh, have to have plenty of water as well as good diet good women they mostly say uh, the doctors mostly advise such women so this was a very short discussion where i've tried my level best to simplify is about about the pup rash and if you still have any queries or comments you're most welcome to comment me in the comment section students and viewers who are new to my channel who haven't subscribed if you like this video give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to press the bell icon and subscribe my channel so that you can be further updated for my upcoming videos thank you for watching